Welcome to today's video. Today's video, we're going to be discussing smart devices that can interact with Optimus Agile to make sure you get even cheaper electricity. And if you haven't got a home charger and you're charging by a granny cable at the moment, this is one way you can take advantage of Optimus Agile. Now before I get into the main part of the video, I need to very, very quickly explain what Octopus Agile is. And if you want to skip ahead because you're already with Octopus Agile, follow the timestamps below on the video and you can find out where to skip ahead. But Octopus Agile offers you wholesale electricity rates. So the rates change every 30 minutes. There's a little bit of profit on there for Octopus, but basically you can pay super, super cheap rates depending on what time of the day it is. Now before I've demonstrated the OMI cable, O-H-M-E, and there's a video top right to see that. And that tells you how that can deal with dealing with these 30 minute price changes. But if you haven't got an OMI cable, or you want other devices in your house to work with Agile, this video is gonna explain how to do that. Now if you're interested in signing up to Octopus Agile, there's a link down below in my description. It'll get you 50 pounds to sign up to Octopus, but you will need a SMET 2 meter before you can take part in it, or a SMET 1 secure meter. But if you wanna sign up to Octopus, link down below in the description, 50 pounds for you, 50 pounds for me. Now you understand what Agile is, I'm gonna explain why we're talking about smart plugs, why we're also gonna be talking about smart switches. You can use smart devices like this, links in the description down below or on evnick.com to change their status depending on Octopus Agile signals or times of the day or various other things and turn them off using um, Alexa and OK Google systems. So you can do plenty of stuff like that. But what we're gonna be talking about today is how you can use this to make your electricity prices cheaper. This would also apply to someone who's got emergent heaters, um, they wanna make an old charger smart, you could do it that way. There is plenty of ways that you can make old stupid things smart. Now the reason I'm gonna demonstrate this 13 amp double socket and not one of the cheap Chinese 13 amp plug into a socket, plug into the wall socket sockets, <laughs> oh that was a mouthful, is because these allow for people who have granny cables to use Agile via granny cable in a safer manner. Now, I'm not a big fan of charging on granny cables. I think that if you're charging every day an electric car, which you use regular from your house, you should have a dedicated wall socket put in for an EV charging. But many people will not listen to me and just ignore me. So that's why I'm gonna do this product here, which allows you to plug in your granny cable into one of these and then turn this socket off depending on what the prices are on if this then that, which means you can have it cycle on and off depending on if the price is high or low. Now, depending on what car you've got, like if you've got an old Renault Zoe and this plug turns off, you might get red nose issues, but on most of our EVs, it sh as soon as it turns back on, it should reinitialize the charger without any problems. But every EV will be different and some trial and error may be needed. On top of these switches, you can also get sun off switches, you can get light switches, you can make any dumb device in your house, pretty much any device, smart and respond to prices on agile or turn them off just remotely from your house but mainly we're going to be talking like i said in this video about switching them on using smart smart tariffs like agile and go so if you get an old charger for example there is a whole list of bits on evnick.com where you can modify your old charger you modify your emergent heat to take advantage of Agile. Now, in my mind, Agile is cheaper for everyone regardless if they've got emergent heaters or an electric car. And I'll be running a trial with somebody I know who hasn't got anything like that, like emergent heaters or electric cars. And we're gonna be seeing if their prices go down on Agile just based on normal use. So if you're thinking of getting an electric car, I think that even if you're not in an electric car yet, switching to Agile will drive down your electricity cost regardless of when you get it or if you're getting it. And if you want to make the jump now before I publish these results, then there's a link down below, like I said, in the description for £50 for you and £50 for me for, you know, referring you over to Octopus. But let's let's dig into how to uh, wire one of these sockets up, how to put it in the house and setting it up and how it works. Now the first thing you want to do before you change this socket is make sure that you've turned all the power off, which I have, and then I've plugged in a hairdryer to make sure it's definitely off. And the reason I'm changing 
this plug up here in, if you like, my wife's dressing room is because one, um, she always rings me after work um, when I'm leaving to work saying, have I, has she turned the straighteners off before she burns down the house? So now I can just turn it off remotely. And second of all, this is the room I charge up all my EV equipment like cam batteries, rechargeable batteries and stuff like that. So for me, this is the socket I'll be using. If you're, like I said, going to be charging an electric car, then put it where you're going to charge your electric car and where that's going to be plugged in. Again, I'd rather you purchase a proper dedicated socket. There's a video about all the ones available in the UK up there. But this will be doing this and smart switches, you know, wiring up pretty simple. But always make sure you turn the power off at the mains and also make sure it's turned off either using a proper dedicated testing equipment or plugging in a device into it to make sure it's turned off. So once it's turned off, uh, which we know it's turned off, we will unscrew this and start fitting it. Now once you've got it all wired up, tighty tighty, really tight with electric connections, always make sure they're really, really tight. You know when an electrician's tightened something because it's really hard to untighten it afterwards. So really, really tight, get those wires, make sure they're not loose, give them all a wiggle, make sure the earth's in, the live's in, and the neutral. If you're not confident wiring it yourself, get an electrician to rewire your plugs. Once it's all on, turn the fuse breaker back on, and we now we need to put this plug into pairing mode, and to do that, we hold both these buttons down together until, he says, both of them light up. So we just let, let, go, uh, let go after about 10 seconds. And then what we need to do is head over to the app of the company, which make them, which is uh, BG, uh, so which is British General. On the device, we can turn each of these sockets off and on, and you can hear the relays click inside as you turn them off and on now. The great advantage is not only can you turn them off by the app, you can turn them off on and off physically, which means on if this then that, if you set these to price markers turn off and on, but you actually just want them to turn on, you just press a button like that, or you physically just tap the button on the app and turn them off and on. Now the more observant of you will notice that I'm now at work and wearing different clothes, and that is because I forgot to record this part of the video and I didn't notice until I started editing this part of the video. You're now going to have to link this into certain services so you can control price points. Now, there's a third party application that you can link into Alexa and Siri shortcuts, but we don't want to do that in this video. This part of the video, we're going to be talking about how to make it controlled by price point for Octopus Agile customers. Now to do that, first of all, you need an if this then that account. If you haven't got one, it's free, sign up for one of them. You then need to link it to two things, Octopus Agile and also link it to BG Home. So down, find the Octopus Agile in if this and that, link it to your Octopus account by logging in. Don't worry, this is a secure service, they're completely trustworthy, don't worry about that. Go into BG Home, find that, link that account. Now we're going to make a new Alexa skill. So the first thing we, uh, sorry, Alexa skill, we're going to make an, a new if this then that skill. Go to if this then that and set what you want it to do. Now you might probably for an EV or for certain things, you might want to set the cheapest three or four hour period, in which case Octopus's Agile app will work out what the cheapest long term rate is over a four or five hour period. For, for me, I'm charging rechargeable batteries. I want the thing to run for as long as it's possible. Now, usually this will be four 30 minute periods, which is a two hour charge for my EV, for my batteries in my cameras. So two, I've basically put four in there and that will allow it to work out the cheapest two hour period, basically four 30 minute slots. Set that and that will do exactly that. Now, if you want to set price markers or plunge markers, there is so many different things you can do. You can even get it to turn off if CO2 rate goes too high in the country. So if you, know, you don't want to charge things when CO2 rates are high. You can set as many skills as you want, pick the left or the right socket, which you will need to name in the BG app to make it more compatible. It'll then sort all that out. That's it, that's, it. that's done it will now turn off and on automatically depending on those price points. And again, if you want to override it, just press that little button on the switch and it'll turn it off and on. Simple as that. If you want to see more about what smart plugs and stuff like this can do, 
then you do need to let me down that you do need to let me know down in the comments so I can find more switches more stuff like this if it helps you save money on agile then let me know don't forget to use my referral code if you're not with agile and you're thinking about joining them and links for all the products mentioned are in the description as well thank you very 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 much for watching this week's video i'll see you again next week thank you very much goodbye